Hey guys, it's Greg, how's it going? Today I'm gonna to review something really, really important. I'm gonna show you all the different data science courses that you can get through Coursera Plus. So all you have to do is pay this fee. If you do 75 Canadian a month or 500 a year, you get access to all of these different courses and their certificates. Now, is that a lot of money? 500 a year, yeah, even for me, that would probably hurt. And I know for many of you, that would be quite expensive. And if you can't afford it, then by all means, that's okay. But if you can, if you plan on doing multiple courses, just wait for it. Watch this video. There's so many amazing options in here. So just enjoy. I'm going to go through all of them and I'm so excited. So the first one, Google Data Analytics, probably either the first or second most well-known certificate in all of data science and analytics. They have it right here. We have Data Science by John Hopkins, another really common one. And these are both in R. So if you don't want to learn R, we have the Applied Data Science with Python by the University of Michigan. That's an amazing option as well. So those three alone, just fantastic, just amazing. There's a few that I'm not familiar with. Data Science Investment Professionals, Machine Money for Trading. My friend really wants to get into this. We have Data Science Fundamentals with California. For the more business minded people, I know many of you are 4.7 stars on 5k ratings, business data management and communication for the University of Illinois. That's awesome. I'm so happy that they have that something similar data science goes into the machine learning and John Hopkins course in Tableau from University of California. That's great. Many people don't know data warehousing, I should honestly learn that a lot better than I know it. So that's great genomic data science. If that's something that you want to get into, then that's really something that you should consider. Isn't this amazing? We have the learn SQL based for data science from University of California. That is such a good specialization. And to put that on your portfolio is going to really help, trust me, an executive data science. So for the more business minded folk, we have that one as well. We have the Databricks specialization that so many people don't even know exists, but will really, really help. Clinical data science, if you're going into that, please do that one. We have the hands-on foundation for data science and machine learning with Google Cloud Labs. Okay, so the Google Cloud stuff, that is all included as well. We'll see those coming up. Uh, MATLAB, I mean, if you want to learn MATLAB, that's your thing. It's personally not really my respected option, um, personally. Data science at scale from University of Washington. So really starting to scale things up and get more into the big data type things like Apache and big data cloud computing. Very, very important to know that. These three, however, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You get the mathematics for machine learning and machine learning on Google Cloud. And if you want statistics with R by Duke University, those three, those are all huge. Getting more into the statistics, we have that with Python, advanced machine learning on Google Cloud. From University of California, San Diego, you get Python data products for predictive analytics. So this is not for me. I do many things in English, but there are multiple languages for some things, which is really good to know. If you're trying to get a job at Microsoft or you're trying to learn Azure or both, this is a really good option. You get all of these Microsoft Azure courses. Again, more Microsoft Azure. You get mastering software developments in R, data analysis, database systems, and business statistics. All three of those, these are very useful. We have AI product management from Duke and data mining from the University of Illinois. Again, I've never seen this before, but 4.5 stars is great. Information visualization is really important. Business analytics from University of Pennsylvania, not my thing, but so many of you will want to take this. 4.6 stars, 16K ratings, that's great. The Google Cloud stuff, again, these two are huge. Make sure that you get those if you're doing Coursera Plus. You even get the reinforcement learning specialization. So if you want to learn RL, which I think is such a fantastic thing, I think it's so cool then it's amazing that you get that as well. A better Tableau course, so that one on the first page, this one's actually a lot better than that. Geographic Information Systems or GIS, a lot of people want to get into that nowadays. 4.8 stars, definitely would recommend. I'm not a big SAS fan, but probably some of you are. You get that. Big Data from San Diego, Bayesian Statistics from Santa Cruz, and Neuroscience and Imaging from John Hopkins. All three of those, amazing, amazing, amazing. You get accounting data analytics from the University of Illinois. I know a ton of you will be into that. Sports performance analytics. Probably a lot of you don't want to do that, which is why it's 102 reviews. But for those that do, it's really, really cool stuff. And it's a good way to bring something you're passionate about into the real world. Design of experiments. Okay, a lot of people don't know this properly. It's something I need to learn better as well. Really important. I'm amazed they put this so far back. This one is freaking amazing. Machine learning by the University of Washington. That one I highly recommend if you don't want to do the entering machine winning course or if you are doing the Coursera Plus route you get that instead which is such a good idea and this I've never seen this before but 4.9 stars on 2000 ratings GIS mapping and spatial analysis many of you will want to get into that that course amazing ratings Cloudera probably a lot of you don't know who that is but many of you might as well one of the big leaders in big data Modern Big Data Analysis with SQL, unsurprisingly, a very phenomenal rating of 4.8 stars 
with a fair amount of them, 1200 reviews. That's amazing that you get that. Survey data collection, a lot of you are probably gonna need that for your job. SAS Visual Business Analytics, again, I'm not a big SAS fan, but that would be great for many of you. And machine learning and reinforcement learning in finance, okay? So 3.7 stars is not amazing, but that's probably because this is very, very difficult. Machine learning at RL in finance is modern, it's really important, it's great but it is hard, so the reviews will probably be bad. Imperial College London has a TensorFlow 2 for deep learning. This is amazing. Recommender systems, something that many, many, many companies need. All of the big tech companies need you to know this, but many people don't. Data visualization and dashboarding, so a very important skill that many of you probably do know, but getting better at that is always a good idea. Deep learning for healthcare, well, that's what I did on my last job and I freaking loved it. Very similar, informed clinical decision-making using deep learning, something that's getting a lot more common and needs people, so go for it. We have the computational statistics for data scientists with Databricks, isn't that awesome? Time series and sequential data in SAS. Okay, I hope that was interesting to you. There's so many good courses there. If you wanna take a look for yourself, check the video description. I have the link at the very top. Click that and take a look for yourself and see what you want to do. If this is your first video with me, maybe consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.